far before him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore him. Even angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore him. Even angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. Our Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by thy great power. Our Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by thy outstretched hands. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Great and mighty God, great in counsel, mighty indeed. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Amen. There is nothing that is too difficult for our God to do. It's a great and mighty God, the maker of the heaven and the earth, the creator of the universe, the father of all living things, the creator of living, both living and inanimate animals, trees. He is the maker of the universe. And this God deserves all the praise. He deserves all the honor. We are alive today. We are awake this hour. And some, 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 oh, glory be to God. In some continents, this is their evening. This is their night. This is their afternoon. That is how awesome. That is how marvelous. That is how mysterious. This our God is a most powerful God that one can think of. And he takes us as his own. Irrespective of our flaws, he just loves us. And thus morning has woken us. And that's why I keep saying, whenever I see Another breaking of a day, I say thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Whenever we see another breaking of a new day, we say thank you, Lord, we say thank you, Lord. It is not our right. It is not our good works. It is not. It is not our righteousness. It is not because maybe we prayed before we sleep or we didn't pray before we sleep. It is not the, the much fasting. Sometimes, I, every moment I see a day like this, a dawn of a new day, I ask myself, why does he love me so much? And I remember the song, he loves me. I cannot say why. He loves me. I cannot say why. On Calvary tree, Jesus so far for me, died for us. He loves us. We cannot tell why. Right this hour, right this second, right this moment, somebody is well in the hospital. Some families are wedding. Rushing, which mortuary do we go to? But wow, wow. Here we are, with our sound mind, we can move our hands. We are not assisted in any way. May the name of the Lord be exalted. This God is worthy, he is worthy, he is worthy, he is worthy, he is worthy. worthy. Thousands of tongues, a million words are not enough to express his, to, to express my gratitude. I don't know about you, but I believe 
to express our gratitude for this God that has kept us alive, for this God that is so wonderful to us, that is God, this God that takes us out. We are sometimes on the road for hours upon hours and he will bring us back safe. He will take us back in peace. He will bring us back in plenty. We'll go out and we don't know how we are going to make through the day, but somehow he is just there. He is just there. What amazing God. What amazing God. Our God is worthy. Our God, I can stay a whole of this time we have here to just adore him, to just worship him, to just thank him, to just, to just, to just bless his name. What an awesome, malleable brother. Chateau Sekela. May his name be exalted above all else. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved of Christ, welcome to Liberation Prayer Altar. This is a moment where you stay on the altar of prayer, worshiping God, praising Him, adoring Him, bringing our petition, our petition and supplications to Him. He said with thanksgiving, bring your petition, bring, bring, bring. Talk to me as your father. We are here to talk to him as our father, to plead our cause as our father, to thank him first of all for the gift of life. And then we tell him, Daddy, we are your prince and princess. We, we, this is what we need because I believe the child, the children of the king lacks nothing. And I trust him. He has been there for us. We keep working for our good we, we will not like even when the world the scripture says when the world will shout there is a casting down we will say there is a lifting up that is our portion in the mighty name of jesus christ amen welcome once again to liberation prayer altar the lord will meet us and at a point of needs no matter the vials of the enemy no matter the wives no matter the firing that no matter the 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 the, the, the seemingly lion that row that is not a lion when they say a lion like a lion like a lion cannot be a cat is like a lion but is never a lion the true lion is the one we serve the lion of the tribe of judah may the name of our God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's another moment with you. Do that which you really can do. Not my voice, but your voice. Nobody sees me but sees you. I step behind, take over. Let every word that drop this day come with power. The Paul of Apostles say, I come not in mere words of the gospel. I come in demonstration of power and by, that is by the power of the Holy Ghost. let the words of this they have expression in our life as we step out in all our doings that road doors be open for us and whatever that the enemy will come to their arrows will turn back to them in the mighty name of Jesus thank you Holy Spirit have your way as we start in Jesus mighty name amen amen Today we will be we will be telling ourselves something maybe we have forgotten. We are going to be telling ourselves that we are lions. The Bible says, "Ye are lions. Ye are lions. We are lions." And I asked myself when I read the scripture, I asked myself if we are lions. See, we are not like lion, but the the cubs of a lion. If this is what the scripture says. If you go to Revelation 5.5, 5, when the, the scroll was brought and heaven is everything kept, kept shut, everything shut down, the mouth, mouth was closed and John, the, 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 the John in the spirit, he began to weep. An angel of the Lord came and touched him and said, weep no more for the lion of the tribe of Judah is able to open the scroll. He is able, the lion. Not like the lion, the lion of the tribe of Judah. And that rang to me and said, I am a lion. If I'm, I am the cup of a lion, then I am a lion. If I am a lion, why am I so scared of the enemies? What has brought this fear into me as a lion? A lion is an animal, no, no matter, they call it king of the jungle. No matter how large the elephant is there. And the lion will want to wrestle with the elephant. Will never give up. King of the of, of the jungle. When it comes, every other other animals, they take their they take their race. Then if we are the, the cup of the lion of the tribe of Judah, that makes me a lion. In in First Chronicle twelve eight, he said to Judah, "You are a lion." 
You, you are supposed to destroy our prey, not to be afraid of what they call themselves witches, wizards, marine spirits, forces of darkness in and out, in and around us. We shouldn't be scared. We should stand boldly and say, I am a lion. We are meant to devour. The scripture says that a devil, like a wounded, like is not deceptive as. Like a wounded lion. Going to and for seeking whom to devour. But we are the cup of the lion of the tribe of Judah. We are not supposed to be afraid of the devil. We are not supposed to be afraid of the vials of the of the end of the enemy, the fiery darts, whatever they throw away, because we are more than them. The scripture says, What is in us is greater than that which is in the world. Then why are we scared? Today I've come to remind us that we are lion. Amen. We are lion. Say, ye are lion. That is the theme of our prayer altar today. Ye are lion. We have to remember and we are going to rob. That situation that has kept us bound today, we will rob. That, uh, that, that which is, that powers that has kept us bound, we are going to devour them. We are going to rob. When the Lord raises his voice like many thunders, it's like many water, it rolls like a thunder. Why should we, we have such a God, why should we sit and murmur? They come and we, sh we shake. Hey, we shake. Small dream, we shake. God punish the devil. Tell yourself, I am a lion. I am a lion. Rapato Zekeria. I read, I, I read the scripture again. I, I don't know. Every time here and now, my, 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 my spirit will turn me back to the book of Revelation. And I was reading Revelation chapter 5, verse 5. As I started to, from 1. But when I went to 5, something happened. I started, and I saw in the right hand, verse 1, of him who was seated on the throne, a scroll written on the inside and on the back, closed and sealed with seven seals. And I saw sitting angels are announcing with a loud voice, who is worthy? Having authority, I'm reading from KM, Amplified, having authority and virtue to open the scroll and to break its seals. And no man, verse, and no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth, ah, in Hades, the realm of the dead was able to open the scroll or look into it. Oh, shatalabaradaraba. Liprozikayalaba. Verse 4, and I began to cry. This is a revelation. This is John. And I began to weep greatly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or look into it. Say, and the lion of the tribe of Judah. Ah, oh, rapatata. Then one of the 24 elders said to me, stop weeping, hallelujah. Look closely, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has overcome and conquered. He can open the scroll and break its seven seals. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Ah, shate le pradoze de barada. Kalabado jarabada. Ripra namosia. And tetoze palako baleabos. Don't cry, the lion of the tribe of Judah. And we are meant to understand that we are the sons of God. We are gods. That if our father is a lion, we are the cup of the lion. And we are, if we are the cup of the lion, we are a lion. From hence, for never shall we bow to the row that looks like a lion who is not a lion because we are the true lion. Amen. We are the true lion. Repato liako zele barada. Jarabada da da. Say they they are roaring is like a lion. They roar like young lions. They crawl and seize their prey. Like that is Isaiah five five. Like is not the same thing as. Like is not the same thing as. We are the true lion. We have come to remind us that we are the true lion. I've come to tell us we are the true lion. First Chronicle 
chapter 12, verse 8. Look at this. Hey, courageous men from the Kadites came over to David in the stronghold in the wilderness. Men trained for war who could handle shield and spear, whose faces were like the faces of lions, who were swift as gazelles on the mountain. We are spiritual Gadites. That is another tribe in the, the tribe of we are the, these people were like a lion. Spiritually, we are like them. They are ready for war anytime. They are not scared of any man. They are not scared of any being. They are not scared of any power. Yes, they, 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 they obey the rules according to the scripture. We obey the rules and those on power. But when it looks like they are going to intimidate us in a wrong way, these people are not afraid. Let's move. They say, what are we waiting for? Let's go. As a spiritual, as spiritual guys, we are not supposed to be on the offensive. We are supposed to be attacking. You take the war to the, to the gate of the enemy. Well prepared. Ready to devour your prey. Like Isaiah said, ready. We, are ready. we should be ready at all times. Not being feeble, not all oh, rapper, no shatter, not when they scream and you will shriek. Altars in our father's house that will say they put libation and you say, Oh God, what am I going to do? A lion. May the Lord show us mercy. May He make us understand what we are and who we are. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ye are lions, ye are lions. Enough of this troubling, enough of this sorrow, enough of this, this intimidation by the powers of darkness. Enough of this, enough of this, enough of this. We should stand, take our place as the cup of the lion. We have a father, the lion of the tribe of Judah. When the seal was brought, everything, man, woman, powers, authorities, thrones, principalities, wickedness in high places, even angels. In heaven and earth, the Bible says in heaven and in, in, on earth, underneath the earth, in the waters, could not open the scroll. And he's telling us, do not cry. When we hold ourselves, they have come again. Say, don't wake up. Ye are lions, ye are lions, ye are lions, ye are lions. Do not cry. For the lion of the tribe of Judah is worthy, is capable. To open the seal. The scripture says we are co-heirs. What Christ is, that is what we are. It says we are gods. We are gods because we serve a living God. Because we are made in his image. The moment you give your life to Christ, you are God. Every attribute, every power has been given to you. I will tell us again and again that Christ came, died, went into the heavens, took authority, took the keys of the powers of death. He didn't need it because he already had it. But he came that he would take it and give us the authority. And Matthew said that authority, the keys of the kingdom has been given to us. Whatever we bound on earth has already. Because everything that happens in our life has already taken place in the realm of the spirit. He says it has already been bound. Whatever we lose. Say we shall trample upon Kobala no Shadalaba, upon serpent, upon scorpion, upon Adam. Those are the human, those are the powers, the lower powers. But we are so scared of this. This day I pray, as we have woken up to the consciousness that we are the cup of lions, we are lions. May we take our place in the committee of things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No matter the powers that be in our father's house, no matter the powers that be in our mother's house, in our marital home, in our environment, in our place of work, today we have come, we have come to realization that we shouldn't be intimidated. The lion, the animal called lion in the forest, when it comes, every other animal quietly take a step backward. There's this power around it, there's this energy, there's this intimidation. That we are more than that. Hey, Kalabalo Shatalabada. If you just join us, this is Liberation Prayer Altar. 
An altar is a place where divinity meets with humanity and matters are changed. Matters will change because we have come to the realization of who we are in Christ. Matters are changed. Powers will bow. Altars will bow. Deities will bow. Coven will bow for us. From this day, as we take our place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Genesis chapter 49. Amen. Verse 9. Praise the Lord. Genesis 49. Your father's sons will shall bow down. Okay, verse 9 of Genesis 49. Judah, a lion's cub. Ah, with the prey, my son, you have gone high up the mountain. He stood down, he crossed like a lion. And like a lion, who dares rouse him? Who dares say, Judah, you are a lion. You are a lion. Nobody goes close to a lion. Even if a lion is sleeping and seems as if he's snoring, there. A lion is sleeping and the cop is here. You dare walk. You just dare walk up. And you know what will happen. How much less? Those that serve the lion of the tribe of Judah. I love the man Joshua. When a man was kitted up, all gashed up and sold, Joshua was not because he knew, not forgetting that from Genesis to Revelation, the center point of the scripture is Christ. He did not, he was not afraid of this man that was so tall, that was so huge, that was so kitted up with armors. He went gallantly to him. Who are you? Are you for us or against us? I think for us today, the moment we see that apparition or that man that just appeared from nowhere, we just turn and we saw somebody say, whoa, goose people everywhere will start running and shouting, my father, my father, where are you? He went for Palarosi. That is the strength. That is the courage we should have. Ye are lions. We are not supposed to shrunk, shrink, be intimidated by any power, by any man made of God. No matter the powers they feel that person has garnered. Those are small powers compared to the power of God that has been embedded in us. So I give you authority to trample upon snake, upon scorpion, upon Adam. And they will by no means harm us. When we know our place as lions that we are as gods that we are, we cannot be intimidated. We will take our place. We will be at the top of our, of, of our, of our career. We step into place, we carry this energy, this, 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 this positive energy of intimidating others, not people intimidating us. From today, because we have come to the realization of who we are in the Lord, of what our Father is, of what is embedded in us, every power that has intimidated us, we bring them to naught in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He said, with the prey, my son, you have gone high up the mountain. We go and stoop down and devour. Today you have been given the power with the realization that we are the cup of the lion of the tribe of Judah. That we are lions. We have been given authority to trample every powers, every altar that has worked against us today has been brought down 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 i don't know the powers that have disturbed you i don't know the altar that is speaking against you i don't know the covenant that has been speaking against you i don't know who have been pouring libation against your progress in life eh? today as we row record these powers will bow before us eh? because we know the god will serve because we serve living God because the lion of the tribe of Judah he is the only one that is able to open the scroll open the seal and has given us authority to take our place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ
I want you to begin to pray. Begin to pray, love of Christ. Begin to rah. Begin to rah. Shala bara da 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 da. Retoze pale ya. Enu prano si akate le bara da. Begin to rah. Take your place. Take your place. I don't know what has kept you down. I don't know what has suppressed you. I don't know what looks like a lion that is not a lion that is that you are afraid of that has kept you. I don't know that man, that woman that looks like a lion but is not a lion and you are the lion and you have been so scared. You so strong. You are not what you are supposed to be. You don't sit where you are supposed to be. You don't take authority. You don't sit in the seat of where you are supposed to be. Every day backwardness. Because something that looks like a lion is rying. And the true lion that you are, you are so scared. Today receive the grace. Receive the grace. Take your authority. Take your place. Begin to rile. Every power that has worked against you. That has worked against your ministry. That has worked against your career. That has worked against your finance, that's work against your marriage, that's work against your settlement, that's work against your children. Begin to devour, begin to devise. Say, Judah, you are a lion. Devouring your rano sekaya your prey. Leku palado shatarabada. Enete setalabarada. Oh, kate zetezetetetetete. Rata, rabadada. Elea badabo shata. Ripra katiata daba. E katiote lia monomozege. Zege, zege, zege. Ah, every altar that has worked against my life. Nekalabarada. Your time expire. Your time expire. Your time expire. Zatetetete. Because I am the cop. Of a lion, I am the lion. I am meant to destroy. I am not meant to be afraid. I am meant to stand strong. I am meant to intimidate. I am meant to conquer. Repokosi kayalia eshana mama nana. If man would be afraid, if animals would be afraid of the lion in the jungle, I made him the king of animals. Much less, we are the sons of the cub. We are the nekosi kayalabara. We are the lions. This is the time for you to rile, libro and devour the powers that has kept you in a place you are not supposed to be, that you are supposed to be in a higher place. That powers that has kept you in a place of a child. You have the talent, you have the idea, you have everything God has embedded in you, and yet still you are still living like a, like a, like a, 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 an ant. You are walking like an an elephant uh, is it like an ant uh, because something somewhere has stand up because you didn't know your right uh, today you know your right uh, that ye are lions uh, as you rile powers will bow altars will bow divine anato kenyata e shada madadada coven will bow e remo sege 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 e tuatia katubalia ne kupala tukazita e shate sa ta 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 ha Proverbs 28 said, The wicked flee when no one pursues them. But the righteous are as bold as the lion. That is Proverbs 28, verse 1. Said, The righteous are as bold as the lion. Ah. Today, the enemies will hear our voice. Even from far off, they will begin to take raise. Those that say we cannot, those that have shut our womb, those that have shut our finance, those that have caused us disfavor, those that say our singles cannot marry, those that say our children cannot excel in their academies, they will hear our voice, not even seeing us. They begin to take raise. Because we have taken our place, because we've come to the realization of who we are, we are Lions, Zaradabo Shata. Libro Kesiana Manana. This is Liberation Prayer Altar. Retentive that we have come to the altar to meet with our maker, the lion of the tribe of Judah. We have come to take our place, and we are taking our place from this moment. We shall not shrink anymore for that voice. Their eyes will not intimidate us anymore. Proverbs said, For ye are lions, we are lions. Ah! Katese telebarada. Say the righteous as bold as lion. Nana manamo si krabo shata. Kote ke lebala bo shala barada. Ha! No more in being intimidated. I am taking my rightful place from this day, from this day. 
I am taking my rightful place with every boldness. Anakibalos, if I have the line of the tribe of Judah, that in every phase of life, in the whole universe, underneath the water, in the earth, later on the valley, cattle, that was able to open the seal, break the seal, open the Ayana Mosikaya. What? Uh, what should I be afraid of? Segi Alayo. Spiritual guides, that is what we are. Lions ready to devour, ready to war, not strong, not being held back, not being afraid, taking our rightful place, taking our place of enthronement, taking our place in the committee of politics, taking our place in the economic, taking our place in social. Begin to tell God, I am taking my place. I don't know what the enemy that looks like lion has taken from you, has stolen from you. Stand as a lion, begin to take your place. 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 Hear this as your brain. Proverb 30, 29 said, 30, 30, 30. The lion, which is mighty among beasts, and does not turn back before any. Why should I turn back because of things that does not? Ayanama. May power that can be taken away. Kala Tubalado Shata, running away from today. I have come, we have come, the offspring of Deborah, the El Makut, we have come, our families, we have come to the realization, back to the realization that we are lion. We cannot turn back. We will not be afraid of that altar anymore. We will not be afraid of that deity. We will not be afraid of that man that is here strong because we are modern conquerors. We are modern. We are the cub of the lion of the tribe of Judah. We are lions. We are lions. Begin to appreciate God for this realization as you take your place. As begin to rub in the matele sikaya. Begin to appreciate God. Thank you God for this realization. Thank you Manata because I am a lion. I'm a spiritual guide. I shall not go back. I shall not be anymore on the offensive. I will be on the attack, taking the war to the gates of the enemies. Rete Sakuasia. Thank you, Omnipotent. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, there's a release of our ministry angels. Uh, he's working for our good. Doors are opening. Doors are opening. Doors are opening. Doors are opening. Someone is having a wonderful connection. Thank you, Lord. 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 I see someone being healed. I see wonderful settlements. I see open doors. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. May the name of our Lord be exalted above all else. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For prayers, counseling, listening ears, a shoulder to lean on by the special grace of God. What's up the number? Plus 234-901-796-1134. Plus 234-901-796-1134. Expect a miracle. The Lord has brought you to realization of who you are. And there's no stepping back. In the mighty name of Jesus. And don't ever forget this. We are the battle acts in the hand of God. Commission to liberate. Therefore, none shall die young in our band. None shall die young in our hands. None shall die young in our lives and families. None shall die young in our ministries. None shall die young in and around us. None shall be barren, nor miscarried, nor impotent. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are healed. We are saved. We are blessed. We are overcomers. We are more than come. 
one God as and we are Psalm 91 in Kent. In the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Someone shout Amen. And may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell and rejoice. In the presence of the Lord in Jesus mighty name amen join us every Friday every Friday 9 a.m. for a liberation and supernatural fellowship believe God for an encounter God bless you in Jesus name amen have a beautiful day a wonderful month a wonderful year in the mighty name of Jesus amen <music>